Hey everyone, Melissa here and welcome back to my channel. This is my first layout for Pear Tree Cut Files. I'm thrilled to be on the team for this year and what I'm working with this month is the Pear Scription Cut Files that you can only get through a subscription to Pear Tree Cut Files. There are five cut files and I think it's Lacey and I are working with them and um, I'll be designing the three of them and she'll be designing the three of them and two of them Two of the layouts that we create will be with the same cut file, which is this cut file here, which is a whole lot of film strips. So it's really super cute, and I am using Vicky Burton's print shop collection, which um, I think goes really well with these fun selfies of my oldest daughter that I found on my phone. My oldest and um, youngest tend to do this. They leave lots of um, selfies and my other daughter she leaves little videos so I don't want to waste these really super cute photos I needed four photos in a series and I thought that these four went really well so this is my first layout for Pear Tree and I decided to make it my first video for Pear Tree because I'm just so excited um, to get into it so what I'm showing you here is how I back the cut files so I don't pre-cut anything I just glue where I want um, whatever I'm, I'm backing, I just glue it and stick it directly onto whatever I'm backing and then when it dries a bit, so I'll leave it maybe for a couple of minutes, then I just come in and trim it out. So I do the same thing with photos and with pattern paper or any type of embellishment that I'm using to back my cut file. So I've used a mix of tags, um, pattern paper, that, I think it says it's the weekend, that's a, um, a large four by six cut apart but I just love that little saying about it being the weekend and yes I did check and these photos were taken on a Saturday so I thought it's it's perfect it really is the weekend and what I did um as I went through the scraps because I I got this um collection through my creative scrapbook it was a kit um I think it was two months ago I think it was February yeah and I had a bit left so I've just gone through Actually, maybe it was January. Sorry, it was January. I've just gone through and pulled bits and pieces that I think will work with this cut file. And I decided as I was going that I might as well try and keep sort of a pink monochromatic theme to what I'm backing um, these little film strips with. So I wanted to lift this up. I'm not doing any mixed media on this layout because I think there's enough. And I was really keen to use pattern paper for a background because that's something I'm really into at the moment. So I'm using just some cheap craft foam from my local spotlight. It's adhesive on one side and then I just add adhesive. I add glue and some double-sided tape on the other side. And I'm positioning these um, film strips on an angle just for a bit of interest. It would have been very easy just to put them um, square, but I don't want to do that because I like, um, I just like that it's a bit different. So this today cut file or die cut is perfect, it's big and it will be part of my title. And then I've just gone through and off camera selected a few pieces of ephemera that I think will work really well. So I'm adding some thread to this little banner piece just for some interest and texture. Um, you can see there now that you're looking at it I have got a sort of a really pink theme going through um, and then I'm just having fun now embellishing each of the film strips and um, I even add some stickers and things to the photos just for interest as well. Just going through here um, wanting to add some more foam. I'm, I've run out of um, pop dots and I can't find any more and I've decided that I'm just going to make do with the sheets of craft foam by cutting them small using double sided tape and using um, liquid adhesive. I did think about putting another frame onto one of those photos but I decided it would be too much and um, yeah, just going through here and adding bits and pieces. You could cut these frames on um, coloured cardstock, you could cut them on pattern paper, you could colour them with um, distress oxides or mist or paint. I did think about doing that, but because I wanted to use that coloured um, pattern paper background, I cut them in white. So just going through here, seeing what I've got, hoping that no one's coming into the room. Um, that always happens when I voiceover I'm sure it's about to happen at any minute um, yeah so I often use double-sided tape and liquid adhesive just to ensure that it definitely is stuck down 
here I'm fussy cutting out a heart from the sheet of paper with hearts. I love that paper, it's very hoardable, but I am making myself use it. So the title of this layout will be Happy Moments, and a sort of a subtitle is that Good Vibes Only, because this, um, these photos just, they do, they just radiate good vibes. Um, yeah, I've got a lot of stickers and chipboard left over, so it is really good to use use them up. Just going through, I don't journal on camera because I think I had to look up the date of these photos, which was on my phone, which I'm using to record. But in the final um, photos, you'll see my journaling added. So I just carry on until I've got enough on, on the page, really. I don't want to overdo it. I don't want to cover up everything because I do love the... Um, the bits and pieces, the papers and the cards that I've used. Um, yeah, it's just a really good way to use up a kit or a collection is to use a cut file. It's definitely a way to use pattern paper. And yeah, I'm really thrilled to be on the team. I'm really excited. Um, I just love Marie's cut files and I'm, I'm really, really thrilled to be here. And I will be sharing one, at least one video a month and um, two other layouts as well as this one over on my Instagram. So you'll find the link to my Instagram below and you'll find the link to the Pear Tree Cut Files shop and blog below as well. Now, just adding a few more bits and pieces and my layout is almost done. You can see why I didn't want to add any splatters or anything. I really think that with the pattern paper and everything I've got going on, it doesn't need anything else. So... That is my final layout and you can enjoy some close-up shots now. Thank you so much for watching.